What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fix This Bill That Sunday Night Live show. I'm Brad. And I'm Susan. And today, today, <laughs> we are talking about all things woodworking and about how the Titans are awesome. Woohoo! Beat the crap out of the Chiefs. Crazy. And, uh, you know, how things are going this week and what we're working on. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and get subscribed. Yes. All right, cool. Well, uh, I don't know if you guys recognize us at 8.30, you know, typically we're here. We're like, we were a minute 8 early. 35, 8.34, whatever, but we are here early. So, uh, you know, it is, it's awesome. This week, uh, we've been, we've been doing a lot of planning because we're going for the next step of yep. the office. So I've been working on doing some, um, some organization as well as the next stage is some shelving. And we're looking at some logos and things to put on the wall. And we kind of went one way, and then uh, we put up some polls about it, and everybody's like, it sucks. <laughs> so we like, liked it, but they didn't ah, like so, it. Uh, so we're backpedaling a little bit on that. But I'm going to be working on some shelves with some um, some cool features to them. I won't spoil the excitement of what we're going to be adding to it. So I'll just you can watch the video when it comes out. Right. But that's what we've had going on mm -hmm. this week, and a uh, beautiful weekend. So I hope everybody had a great mm -hmm. weekend. And uh, one more week till Halloween. Ooh, get this out of the way early. Um, we haven't talked about this, but we will definitely not be having a live at right. 8.30. We mentioned so it briefly last we week. We did, but we but just for folks tuning in, we will right. not be having a live next week because it is um, Halloween and right. we're going to be out with the kids trick-or-treating yep. or serving candy or whatever. And so uh, we will not be available for that. We may pull it forward in advance, so make sure you've got your notifications turned on because uh, if we do a live next Sunday, it will be earlier, you know, sometime earlier in the day. So what are you going to go as? I'm going to go as Chuck. No. I'm... You should. <laughs> Nobody I would know. I think it would be lost on most people. Uh, uh, I have yeah. no idea. I have no idea what I'm going to go as. But today what I'm going to go as mm -hmm. is uh, a fan of the new Builders Club members. All Boom! Right. How about that? We had a couple new folks join the Builders Club. Jason Moorhead and Ryan Rinicky. I'm going, I'm going with Ryan Rinicky. I'm just going to so, Ryan Renke. Renke, sure. Uh, Ryan Renke. Thank you guys so much for joining the Builders Club. And of course, you guys probably know by now, but uh, that is the inner circle of the FTBT audience. They get access to free plans, early videos, as well as shout outs in the live and in the main videos as well on the end screen there. So if you want to find out more about that and support the channel, because we love mm -hmm. uh, all the support from those folks, that really helps out. And you can go to fixthisbuildout.com forward slash Builders Club. And thank you to all the Builders Club members who are here tonight. All right. And let's see who is here tonight. Who's here? I know. I know. I know. Let's see. All right. Scroll. We, we had a bunch of people here early. We, we, we started talking early. Everybody's like, what? Who? Why are they? Are these people early? They're never early. We're never, <laughs> all right. We're never we got early. Will. We got Larry, Katie, Brian, Travis, Stan. What's up, guys? Alan in the house. I'm just going first names. I'm not even going like the whole name. Mario, Heart of a Handyman. Uh, we got Scott, and did I miss anybody? I think we had a few. Our Will and anima, anima, Animation Creations. Yeah. Did you say uh, Katie? Yeah, I did say Katie. Oh, of course sorry. I said Katie. Come on. Come on. You come know, on. you guys know I can barely read this, so I saw I Katie she, today. She, I was so proud of myself. Read. She can't read. I know. She, no, we like had a vision can't. test last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. It was bad. I was like, can you, yeah, I can't read bad. this with my glasses yeah, on. Yeah, I Travis Brad Porter. was horrified. How about those Titans, baby? What, what's up with that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, they, they you know? beat them pretty good. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. So let's see here. Oh, love the chat with Steve. Oh, is that out? I, I didn't even. Yeah, so I was oh, on, yeah. uh, I forgot about that. I was on a podcast with Steve Ramsey. If uh, we're working for Mere Mortals, I think he puts it on his main channel. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to say yes. I, I haven't watched it. Um, I won't watch it because I was there. I did the interview. <laughs> you <laughs> was an interview on it. his podcast. Oh, yeah, we, we had a good time. Yeah. So I, I really got into, you know, as you would expect, I think most people he talks to talk about woodworking. I was just talking about like analytics and business. And <laughs> well, you know, that is like, else. that is your, your area that you enjoy a lot. And you is. enjoy the woodworking too, but it is not everyone I'm sure is probably wanting to talk analytics. So no, they probably, no, they, they don't. It's but, nice to have variety. Yeah. But it, yeah. But it was good. It yeah, was good. totally. Um, let's see here. Oh, animation. It's 2.30 there. My gosh, that's crazy. Um, it's 2.30 where? He's 2.30 uh, in, at, uh, wow. where is he? He's in uh, uh, Britain or is he in, somewhere in, the, in Europe I'm going to go with. Okay. Because that, that's eight hours ahead, right? So boom, boom, four. No, that would only be six and a half hours, six so hours are, ahead. Oh, is Animation Creations, is he one with a baby or no? 
Wasn't there somebody that we were like, why are you up at 2.30 in the morning? <laughs> and then it was so. because it was a baby. Probably so. Probably I feel so. like that might be right, but I could be All wrong. All right. Pat Cavanaugh, Daniel Pikes, what's up, guys? Keegan Kenny, how's it going? All right. Cool. Hello, everybody. So, uh, that, that's a nice little greeting. Why don't we greet some uh, beer? Some beer. <laughs> we went back to uh, the Fantastic Haze Imperial IPA from Sierra Nevada. Yes, we did. Uh, this is an Imperial. Oh, gosh. This, again, I forgot about it last time. 9%. It's Imperial. Oh, my God. You're the one that bought it. I didn't look at that. This was courtesy of I just of saw Katie. Hayes. This is another holdover from And from Katie. fantastic. And I thought. Katie's super chat uh, a few really weeks good. back. Here you go. Cheers. Here what? Cheers. Oh, yeah. Smell it first. It smells yeah. good. Strong. Nice and strong. I like it. Ooh, it's so good. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. Whoa. There's now, a lot going on there. hit you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to get hit in the face, good. go check out a fantastic Hayes Imperial IPA. I like it. It's here in Nevada. Out of Chico, California. And don't forget to smash that like Good button. Gravy. Destroy it. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. Let's tell him, smash the like button. <laughs> oh, and Mills River, North Carolina. And Mills River, North Carolina. Two different so, locations. So there you go. I know. I know. Yep. Mm. We were just in North Carolina. We were. We were. We and not Mills River. We could have been. We had no idea. We had no, we actually it's right down the road. I was really? Who was I talking to? What? I was talking to there are a lot of Johnny there. was saying was it Johnny? I think it was Johnny. He was saying that the uh, Sierra Nevada Mm. Built a brewery in North Carolina, uh, just outside of Asheville, I think, and that it is like insane. It's really nice. He t I, I saw he on TripAdvisor there. I, I we didn't really have a chance. That's where the they do all the us. bottling on the for the East Coast. Oh, we had the kids with us, and then we were kind of busy with already planned activities. So we didn't like you and I. If we we're going on our own, we probably would like hit up a brewery or whatever. Yes. There are tons of different like really cool breweries with like restaurants attached where you can go and mm -hmm. eat and get like a flight of beer or something would be fun that was not the trip we would were be on. fun the kids uh yeah no we kids, leave them alone kids not having that. A beer, i mean so. you know <laughs> all right what else we got here uh let's hear daniel sitting in the airport oh. uh, going from dallas to chicago delayed oh i hate Good delayed with flights that. man i hate delayed yeah. flights uh yeah see animation he's in the uk that's what i thought i said UK. britain is there a baby or no? <laughs> is there, I feel like is maybe that was, huh? I, know. <laughs> I thought that's that was why he was up at 2.30 in the morning, but that was probably somebody else. So Maybe. Right. Let's hear Will. He Will. Said, you said maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe baby. Uh, ordered an Inker 5000 in Carbide Blades for his bench top jet oh. planer today. Can't wait to get him. Let's hear Inker 5000. Fine. That would be the uh, upper end miter gauge, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, is that correct? There will because uh, I've never owned um, an aftermarket miter gauge, but I know the Inker ones are very nice. They're like adjustable down to like tenth of a degree, and you sound really excited about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're into that thing, <laughs> tools, fine and tuning your tools, tools, and, and, and yep. all that and all that stuff. Uh, let's see here, Teresa cannot get the show. I think everybody, everybody else is in here, Teresa. I'm not sure what the problem is. We have uh, everybody's in, so. Well, she probably can't hear me. I guess she's in the chat. <laughs> oh, we got a, a super chat from Will. Let's see, the thing didn't come up. I guess that's not working anymore. Hmm? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's... Oh, uh, the little noise. Yeah. The little, we have the music, but it's it, not muted now. Well, no, but it would have... We don't know. Yeah. I, I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out. Normally we have... Oh! Oh! It was just there delayed. There it is. <laughs> Leonardo, <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. Let's see here. What does he say? Uh, for, ne <laughs> for next week's... Malt liquor, steel reserve, or Mad Dog 2020 or Colt 45. <laughs> yeah, we I, next week Will wants us to come in with 40s. I, you know, I think what we 40s. should do is uh, maybe we get like some Four Loco, go oh, like gosh. Tri Channel. Did we ever have Four Loco? We never had Four Loco. I thought we tried How? it. No. 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 We just watched them try. We I just haven't watched them, them in forever. Four Loco. Where do you get it? Thank you so much, Will. We have. I'll Thank make you, sure I write that down so that I don't forget. We'll get something. Well, did you know? Everyone else probably knows this, but Paps Blue Ribbon is like cool again. Like it's oh, been yeah. cool again for a while. It, it's it's like yeah, trendy bougie. It's so funny though, because like wasn't that like not great beer? Yeah, that's right. But it's still not great beer. Is it, it's just like it's just trendy, not great yeah, beer. Yeah, it's it's like uh, okay. you know, like natty. When whatever light? fashion no. is in, like like it, it's like vintage fashion. Like you go to the thrift store and get the like those yeah, are cool. Yeah, but you're drinking it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know. So okay, on a scale of natty light versus PBR. Which one is better? Which one's worse? Natty Light or PBR? Natty I mean, I'm going to have people. to go with... If you're not from America, I'm sorry. You're probably like, what? PBR's definitely about? got more flavor. 
I don't even remember. Natty it's Light, so I, it's, it's been a minute. Natty but. Light is like brings back bad memories for me of like in college, you just Natty, bought the cheapest beer possible and that was Natty Light. Yeah, well, and it was um, also uh, Natty, excuse me, Natty Light Ice. Because that was the one, like, if, if you want to get the job done. Oh, gosh. I don't fewer, remember that. In fewer beers, Natty Light Ice was the way to go. Oh, jeez. Not that I would recommend anyway, that. But uh, yeah. it, is, it is a way to go. That's funny. Uh, oh, oh, Will, it's, a, it's actually the crosscut sled. Aha. Um, what, are their, what are their miter gauges called? I thought that was, like, the 1,000. Maybe I get, just got that mixed yeah. up. I know they've got, like, maybe the 1,000, 3,000. But the crosscut gauge, got it, cool. That's that's awesome. Those are those are really cool. The crosscut sled because that you can do angles on them, uh, same type of thing. But it's uh, that's cool. All right, James. Uh, it says his 1,200 square foot vinyl plank is finally finished. All right, nice work, James. All right. Vinyl plank. How, how did it turn out? Did it turn out as expected? Did uh, did the family enjoy it? Is it like, you know, did you get praise and, and <laughs> accolades? Yeah, for, for the job or what? Um, oh, Teresa. Teresa is in now. What's up, Teresa? Hey, uh, Teresa. I have it streaming off my phone to my Roku. There he is. There he's getting. Yeah. PIB, PBIB. PBR is hipster beer, Brian says. Yeah. It's funny. Well, mm. that kind of makes sense because I feel like, no offense to any hipsters out there, like if the hipsters are in their 20s, early 30s, then would they have experienced PBR? They just don't know the they don't negative know how, connotation. Like, like they didn't drink it. I remember, no, it was, uh, you know what I'm saying? when we were in college, it was, um, I was thinking it was PBR, it, wasn't, it was like Southpaw. You know, they had the whole like Southpaw, Red Dog, like there was a, yeah, there was a minute there. I, I remember they had like quarter beers at. Uh, oh, quarter beers everywhere, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah you can't even get. I don't, do they still have quarter? I don't I know. No College yeah. could have quarter beers. They could. But we, I, I remember but they had my. Served, it was like you know a Dixie cup. Almost, I feel like but. when I was a kid in the '80s, like I would see commercials with the Pabst Billy Ribbon. I always saw the, you know? the Keystone, Keystone commercials. Oh, I, I don't, don't know. like the Keystone. Like they were always. It was always like some dude. Keystone. Like that was. Keystone, I don't remember yeah. that. Oh yeah, it was always like it was always like at a grocery store, and like it was like some dude with his like slick back hair, and then not slick back hair, but like it was more like a California dude or something. And then there'd be this like attractive blonde like walking through, and they'd be like, "I mean, I don't know how the commercial went, but basically like because he had Keystone, she was like, hey, like, what, what are you doing?'" <laughs> she did not have very good taste. <laughs> I said that was like the only that was like the only commercial that I oh, remember. Oh, that's funny. Uh, so I don't know. Anyway, we digress. We do, we do. All right, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, PBR is much better. Travis says. Um, <laughs> animation says so he only drinks the uh, the supermarket owned brand and it tastes mm -hmm. disgusting oh no oh uh, yeah M mgd is always a good one mgd is a good one yeah i see you know what's I like mgd miller genuine draft oh i don't know yeah. yeah miller miller high life is that different than mgd it is different i don't know how i feel like we are going deep on cheap we beers are here. i mean we have you know beer of the week like it doesn't make sense it doesn't make as sense as we drink I, maybe beer. we should maybe we should i, I mean we, like will was asking he was saying like i think excuse me i think we should do pbr next week Okay. I think it's... I mean, it's been a long time since I've had PBR. And we won't drink it before. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like, and, sometimes, like, if we have the beer, we might, like, have... Like, or we've had this beer since, like, a few weeks ago. For uh, even even after YouTube takes their cut, we could get, like, a case for, you know, for 20 yeah, bucks for... for real. We'll, we'll have <laughs> PBR forever. I remember, yeah. I think on the Super Chats, YouTube takes, like... What do they take? 30 or 40%. Dang. I mean, they take a lot. YouTube know. is, it's, like... They gotta get theirs, man. They gotta make their money. Yeah, but even you know, forty percent. What? That, that's still we get sixty percent of it, so twelve bucks. You can still get like cover a, it. You can get a, a, a case of PBR for twelve bucks. That's Actually, funny. probably not, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> all right, what else do we have here? Oh my gosh, Zima, Zima and the Jolly Zima. Ranchers. It's, yes. Zima with the red skittle in it. Wasn't Wait, that a thing? Jolly Rancher. Jolly Ran was it Jolly Rancher? I never did that. I think I did it like once because I wanted to see what it was all about, but like <laughs> it just made it red from what I recall. I like the idea of the Jolly Rancher because it's all just sugar. It's not like the Skittle is like a hard, yeah, that's it's got true. like a shell. I know, but like the Jolly Rancher does, neither one of those things, things seem like they would really dissolve in beer. Like it would you need to be in something know. hot. And that sounds may, gross. May we, it, are they still selling Zima? I know they they came back. They came back. I don't know what I don't happened. Know if it, yeah, but maybe that's what we should, we should go on a kick, like a, like a I mean, I could retro Google kick. It. We can do PBR, Zima. Can you get Zima? 
you know, see if we can get any Southpaw. I mean, Zima had a cool <laughs> name. I will give them that. Oh, goodness. All right. Uh, let's see. I leave the Texas Aggie to bring a win for the Titans. <laughs> hey, uh, we, we celebrated the Titans win today. It was awesome, Teresa. So. Zima uh, is still told, sold and marketed in Japan. There you so go. All right. If you're in Japan, you're in luck. Not around here. 30 pack of PBR <laughs> for $14.99. There you go, Will. We'll so go. this article says the long, slow, tortuous, tortuous death of Zima. Yeah. I mean, that really that paints a picture for you. All right, cool. So it. what else is going on out here, guys? What what are you what have you guys been working on this week? We're working on, so we're getting into winter now. Winter. And I think more yes. earnestly than not, we're just looking at the weather. Yeah. Uh, at least here in Tennessee. And uh, there's like a storm coming through tonight, and then it was like you know, the, we, I guess a couple weeks ago it was pretty cold, but it, it was, was, it was for, for like, like four or five days. For a few days, and then and it then got it like got warm again. again. Right, yeah. like I was out in the yard in shorts and everything today doing, yeah, doing uh, I had pants the grass on and, and then I went outside and I was like, too hot for this. Right, so for us here, we're getting into winter. I don't know how it is for you guys, but then like I feel like winter brings on more woodworking projects because hmm. you know you're not outside doing all the things and you don't have. I guess like a lot of like soccer's kind of winding down. Right. Um, you know, football's in full swing, but some of those things. So like, what are you guys working on? What What are your? Are you making Christmas presents? Ooh, that's a great. That's one. always Christmas sort of or, a thought. Or is anybody making last minute like Halloween decorations? Oh gosh, we've never done yeah. that. But no, we haven't. Which is funny because I feel like with the CNC, we should you know I'd be like I should be like cutting our kids would skulls love skulls and crossbones and. You would be Why like a hero of the do, daughter. Our like. Know. Our daughter loves to decorate. She is she, she is just, all about the holidays. And nine, Susan's got like adorable. bins in the walk-in. And we have a little walk-in storage space. And she's got, you know, there's like a bin for every holiday. There's or more multiple. Than one, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> Some holidays that would be only impressive. get one bin. <laughs> yeah, like Others. Valentine's Day has one bin. Yeah. Yeah. How many bins was Halloween? Like two, two or three, three. Probably. How many bins is Christmas? Christmas is like six or seven. This is why. This is what the stinking guac is filled with. Well, no, but here's we the thing that I don't understand. Like, I was... Because that's like once a year, once a, literally once a year stuff. We should, but there's no room up there. I can get so. room stuff. Okay. Well, no, because then you know who'd be hounding <laughs> you to get stuff out. Yeah, that's fine. She's like, hey, she's Mark. relentless. When it she, when our so daughter feels could, like it's time to decorate, she will hound you until the decorations come out. After the show, after the show. So we have, we have this like little, it's, so we have a bump out on the garage and you guys may have seen it in the shop tour. I'm not sure if I ever really showed it. You don't see it much because this is, there's just no reason I would ever show that back there. But like above our garage, we have like a bump out. So in the front of the, in the front of the house, there's like a bump out and like an ease, an, not an easement. Um, um, here we go again. Uh, <laughs> what do you call them? Here uh, we go again. I don't know. Ease, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, an overhang? And this, you, this thing right saying. here? And e, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like an overhang. Yeah, but you, there's something it's like we've got a garage it. store and know, like a little you, platform that extends. there's something that you call that. And, and it's something about an ease. I'm Easement? Sure as it, no. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. That's like to give somebody access on your property. I know, but that's the only ease word I can I, think of. I don't of. know what I'm saying. Somebody else will, will say it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so we have one of those. And uh, so there's an actual bump out over the garage. So it's like the garage door on the inside, the garage door, and then it's like this ledge. Uh, and it's... I don't know it's probably 20 inches deep 24 inches deep somewhere around there so it's kind of cool it's just that it's like a lot of people add garage storage uh and instead of maybe i'm just thinking of an awning an eve thank you david you were close. i was, I was at yes <laughs> david fratsky says eve yes that's what i was, I was like an, an eve an ease you, i, I, I could have okay i could have passed good. it we're good right. so it's nice because it's just like already up there and a lot of people will build storage yeah. over the garage door we already have this built in right. so it's it's kind of nice but uh so i've got like i'm just looking up there i've got uh like jack stands and ramps for the car mm -hmm. we have coolers our tents uh, a vinyl plank flooring cutter which is great the middle seat for the minivan uh like a that, yeah. tig welder <laughs> actually uh, actually so a really not... odd collection of things up there uh yeah a shop vac and then a bunch of dust collection hoses so right. holds a lot we could fit some holidays we could do that um what was I going to say before you went on all that? I don't know. We're, I'm, I'm going back up here to see how storage. people are doing. So let's hear. Scott says he's been experimenting with his 3D printer making ornaments. Ooh. That'd be fun. Now, okay, Scott, tell me, about, tell me about color layering. I'm very interested in that because 
uh, I and I know the one you have. You have a. I think you you just have like a you know one of the generic ones like I do, like a, um, a Creality. Uh, what is that? A something ten, something like that. Anyway, that it's like a single spool, single filament. So like, how do you switch colors? Because I don't know how you would switch colors in layers unless you maybe just completely cut it off and then like run and then like move it out of the way. So if you guys are not familiar with 3D printing, uh, the way 3D printing works is you have a heated uh, little brass nozzle and then you've got a spool of filament, which is just like plastic wire. Uh, think, it's not like, think about it as like a hot glue gun. It's basically like a hot glue gun on a CNC axis and then it's colored instead of clear and it's not sticky. So it's really nothing like, no, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> but it comes through the nozzle. So then there's an extruder which pushes it through the nozzle. And then, you know, depending on how it's moving, it builds it up. So uh, when you're going to change colors, you have to, you know, just like in a hot glue gun, kind of different, I mean, because you don't have colors obviously, but um, you know, if you're changing the hot glue gun stick, you know, you, you have that little nub that's in there and you can't really get it. So you have to get a longer one to then push it through. Same type thing. Like hot glue gun. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So you, you do it until it so can't like push using anymore. using something that's not a hot glue gun No, no, no. Like stick. you use yeah. it until you can't push anymore. And then when you put a new hot glue stick, same type thing. There's some filament that's stuck in there that you can't really get out. You can kind of pull it back, but there's still filament in there. So you have to completely extrude it or you would get like a color, you know, you get like okay, a tie-dye yeah. color. So I'm wondering, uh, CR10 is the, is the one. I Maybe think they're, right the ornaments are all one color. No, he just said the color layering. That's oh, why I'm asking Oh. That. That was didn't, the whole I didn't question. catch that. Yeah. Gotcha. Makes uh, so uh, we'll catch up with that comment when he replies. Let's hear it. Katie, uh, working on, f uh, on flipping a huge cabinet a friend gave me. Flipping? What are you doing? Like flipping it in the air? Hmm. In an interesting manner. So having to do a lot of problem solving. Uh, it was a symbol of flipping it. What are you, are you like, 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 like repurposing it? it or? Are you, yeah. Are you like selling it? Like, like flip this house? Like upgrading it? What is flipping? We're mean? really intrigued. I, in, I mean, I know what flipping means in certain situations. But. Right. Yeah, we don't know. Or it's a cabinet. She could be taking the cabinet and turning it upside down. I don't know. She could be. Turning it on its side. Who knows? We don't know. Brian bought a house. It's going to close in two weeks. Congrats, Brian. Good all job. right, man. That's fantastic. Congratulations. All right, all right. Okay. Hopefully we're... it's not like the housing market around here. Although it's crazy Everybody's everywhere. Is it still Christmas crazy gifts? everywhere? Um, Has it calmed down? Do you know? In other parts of the world? Yeah, the country? It's, I think it's, it's stopped accelerating. But it's definitely not pulled back. We're, it, the, we're ready the, for it to pull back. The acceleration mm -hmm. is slow. By the way, Katie, I may have missed it, but what's our uh, what are our timber futures at? Yeah. Uh, I think I may have missed it. Uh, let's see. Here. Ooh, dog beds. Animation Creations making some dog beds. That's awesome. Uh, nice, nice. Oh, upgraded parts to upgrade the Maslow. Hard of a handyman. I've been getting, so the Maslow CNC, if I'm not mistaken, is like a hanging, it's really kind of a cool idea. It's like a, basically like a router on two wire guides and there's like two motors that <clears throat> just pull it. And so it's like, like pulls it and it's, it's like horizontal. The sheet is vertical versus like typically a CNC is mm -hmm. up here doing a horizontal cut and you lay the, uh, or doing a vertical cut and you lay the sheet down horizontally on this one, you lay the sheet up almost like up against the wall. And then you just, it's really wow. crazy. And you can do like a whole, that's kind of a cool thing is I think it's like all, you just like hook it on the edge of a ply, piece of plywood and it what? can like, that's yeah, it's crazy. crazy. But anyway, I've, I've been getting ads. I've been getting a ton of ads for, there's like a new one called like the Maker Made or something. There's like a new version of that. Cause I think they stopped making, and maybe that is the Maslow uh, because I don't think they sell the Maslow anymore. Hmm. All right, let's see here. I cut the filament and then feed the next color in. Hmm. That was way less impressive. <laughs> than I thought. You're gonna have a whole process. He was like guy. hoping for some inside <laughs> Secret. I was like, no. Yes. That's what you do. Yes. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What do you got? Uh, Brian. How do I say? I'm going to go with bonus. Brian bonus. Bonus. Uh, he's really interested in Alm's plywood edges, making them a feature rather than hiding them. What do you and your family think? Brian. So he's he's referring to, I don't know if you've seen this. So uh, Alm is referring to Michael Alm, who uh, I just had a chance to, to meet in person out in uh, Oklahoma City hmm. a few weeks back. And great guy, by the way, amazing woodworker. Uh, and he does the, he uses Baltic birch and he does all these patterns, these like plywood patterns. So he'll like cut it up and then like cut it on angles and then re-glue it and cut it more. Hmm. And so it is really cool looking stuff. Um, I, I love it. I think it's really cool. I don't think cool. you've not seen it. I have um, not. 
Let's see. Yeah, I wonder. I feel like we should do some more. Um, I don't know how we can do this. Some well, more like on. We're doing something. Yes, we are. Here, let's let's pull this out so that we can. They can't see things this yet, but that's okay. Things are happening, guys. Yeah, things are happening. Let's go to. Um, <sighs> let's go to um, um, YouTube. How about that? And this will be. Because <laughs> I want to show you guys. Because this is really cool. And like I said, I, I just got the chance to meet Michael. I'll see if I can show this in a minute. And I'm going to do a Control Shift B, so that's not here. There we go. Perfect. All right. All right. All right. So we are going to go to uh, on woodworking, and then I will share this. On or it's on woodworks or something. And share what uh, what he's talking about. Here we go, Michael. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now let's see if we can share this with you guys. Do do do. Okay, how do I do this? Uh, I think if I do a camera picture in picture, nope, nope, nope. Uh, camera picture in picture, my screen picture in picture. There we go. Boom. Oh, there we go. Welcome to the Whoa. matrix. I know. <laughs> uh, there's a way. Oh yeah, actually, I need to program that in. That's what I need to do. I can program it over here. Oh nice, that'd be good. <laughs> uh, so we should be showing up, and I can't see it, but that's okay. All right, so this is Michael Alm, and this is his his stuff, and he does these so he does these plywood edge things here, which are oh, wow. really super cool. So what he's done, I, he does a, a lot of patterned things. Uh, so he's like a circles and and all this kind of crazy things that he. Oh, here it is. This is a pattern plywood playlist. So there are super cool. If you guys have not checked him out, go check him out uh, because Michael is awesome. Let's see if we can get like if he does it on the intro. Uh, this might be bad if I try to stream this and uh, there's like, you can see the thumbnail. Oh, there we go. All right. We're just going to pause that because that might, but so what, what he's doing, so cool. yeah, what he's doing here is just cutting and recutting. This is Baltic birch plywood. And again, I hope we're, yeah, we are. Okay. So this is just Baltic birch plywood. And what he's doing to make these patterns is he's, he's cutting it and then recutting it and regluing it and doing it on angles. And, um, yeah, he just makes some really cool stuff. So go check him out. Uh, if you're interested in, in seeing that. So yeah, he did a bunch of different designs. Um, and yeah, like I said, he's a, he's a good dude. So uh, let's see if I go back to main cam, that should work. And I can go here. All right, perfect. So cool. Yeah, so I, I think it's awesome. And I would love to do some of that. And like, I don't know where I would put it, but you know, put it somewhere. But yeah, yeah. if you guys have not seen Michael, go check him out. All right. Yeah, I, I need to program. I, I actually, I probably have that on there. I do. I've got it on there. Screen share. <laughs> oh, well. What can you do? Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <La -da. laughs> Sometimes I just uh, start singing. Burst out into song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Dennis Miko, what's up, my man? Uh, realtor, his real, let's see, Will's realtor friend sold nine homes alone this month. That seems like a lot. Wow. That seems like a lot. Teresa says they're getting 100K over asking in her area, which they're doing the same around here. Or at least they were. Mm -hmm. They were, they were. Yeah. Oh, uh, Katie's coming in hot with the lumber update. All right. Uh, shot up to 800 per, 800 per thousand board foot. A couple weeks ago, it dropped to 667 the past week. It's been holding there. Oh, it did shoot up. I did hear that. I heard that the prices were like going back up. Hmm. But then they come back to, came back down or no? Came back down slightly. But, but I think where, where were we, Katie? Were we around 350, like, you know, before all this craziness started? Um, uh oh. As uh -oh. such, all right. I think we are overloading. They don't like us doing YouTube within YouTube. No. Let me, uh, let me kill that. Okay. Let's see how that does. Not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such, viewers. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Open widget, what does that mean? Uh, Open widget? I don't think you should. So we're just typing in here. And hopefully this it's is going to catch it's up. Lagging. It is lagging. Yep, yep. Uh, let me see what we can do. Stream, blah, blah, blah. Stream settings. All right. Note to self: Never do that again. <laughs> mm -mm. Stream latency. Oh, I can't really do anything. Stream health. Poor. We're still poor. Oh no. Uh, what can we do here? I don't know what we can do. All right. Are we still lagging super hard? It looks like we are. 
but let me know. I know we are because this is still says poor. Mm -hmm. Dang it. And back. Someone says and back. Are we back? Can you guys hear us? And back. Hopefully. We should and start and acting back. like we're okay, guys seem good. Okay, we're good now. Out. We're good now. He says fix now. All right. I think we should have been like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> going through a tunnel. Okay, yeah. I closed the thing. Yay, Thank you guys. Sorry good. about that. So All we're right. back. All we, right. We will not do that again. We <laughs> messed with YouTube too well, much. I, uh, and so I'm going through Wi Fi. Yeah. And that's but usually, it was worth it to show you guys no -no. the epic content. That is really cool. That's really cool. It's really neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except Michael. It's Michael, very clean Michael's and very modern. And Michael's very creative too. Baltic birch, which is your favorite. And you can never go wrong <laughs> using Baltic birch. It is really cool though when someone takes a material and just finds a completely different, unique way to use it. You know? Yes. And that's really, that's really creative. Love it. <laughs> Right. I was going to say laughing? something inappropriate, but I decided not I'm to. I'm really glad you did not. All right. Uh, Glant, uh, Grant Lydiard from Down Under. Hey. Australia, I'm assuming. I mean, that, I might... mean, that would, we would generally assume so. Yes. Whatever. <laughs> I feel like I heard Australians finally got out of lockdown. But yeah. I, I, yeah. Like, that's yeah, a yeah. big. That's a big deal. Maybe with some restraints placed on yeah. it. But yeah, they're serious about COVID. Like, I mean, especially compared to different states around here. So. Yeah, they are. But it's, it's all good. Yeah. Um, good. Yeah, we might we might be a little blurry. It may have like yeah, it may have about kicked that. down the uh, thing. But I think it's it's like one of those things where it, if it goes south into the poor thing, it downgrades and it won't really bring it back up, even if the data gets better. Oh. But whatever. Well, we learned a lot. Yeah. Uh, oh, cool. Scott's in a DM of that. Uh, all right, all right, cool. So, hi, hi. Uh, I was wondering, mm -hmm. what do you think we should do for Christmas? What do you mean? Do you think we? I think talk about it. Should we make a? Should we make like a? I don't know, like three D print a Christmas tree or something. Hmm. That'd be, That'd be cool. Oh, what is this virus type? No. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we should do like a Christmas project this year. That'd be fun. We normally yeah. don't do. I, I, we normally don't We're do so seasonal projects. I feel like honestly, most of it's because of planning. I was gonna say. Or lack thereof. I feel like usually we have ideas and we have aspirations, but we fall short on time. You know. Yeah. And I don't even know if we always have ideas for Christmas. <laughs> Typically, what it is is like teacher gifts has historically been a thing where I'm like, mm -hmm. oh hey, what if we did X Y Z? And Brad's like, oh my gosh, yeah, that'd be awesome. But then it's May, and if anyone has yeah. kids in school, you understand, like, May is the most insane time of the year, and it just never happens. But Christmas, I don't know why. Like, you've given cutting boards as presents, so, like, we yep. have done that. Cutting boards, always a fan always favorite. Always a winner. Yep. Always a fan favorite. But um, I don't think we've done, like, have we ever done, like, I feel like I've, I've done handmade? cutting boards, coasters. Like, coasters, I've yeah. never gone the next level of, like, you know, you've never made, yeah. like, a table for, like, a side table or a... As a present, you mean? Yeah, I mean, that would be pretty intense. I've, yeah, but I think then you start getting into people's differing tastes, you know? True. Like, if yeah. you make somebody I, yeah, a side yeah, yeah. table or a coffee table, right. and they're like, wow, you spent a lot of time and money and energy on this. Oh, and by the and way, I, don't like I it. hate like, walnut. <laughs> we don't want to do that. <laughs> I only like the light-colored woods. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. no, we haven't We'll have done to that. think of it. Let, let us know what you think. But yeah, um, no, I think it'd be fun to do something like... <laughs> Brian, Modern Bills has Christmas lights on his house already. Yes. Uh, he was doing something with Home oh my Depot. Gosh. I, I think Mike did. Put, so that, that was a, they were doing a Christmas thing. Uh, they actually approached us about doing a holiday prep oh, right, right. project. And uh, I wanted to do a Murphy bed. They ended up wanting to do more simple things. They felt that was too big of a project. And yeah. I didn't want to just, you know, decorate it's the outside. So seeing some of the content that I've seen, it kind of makes sense. Like they just, they want it to be like, like plug and play, yeah, and play kind yeah, of. Yeah, it was, I thought fine. they wanted like a build. I was like, oh yeah, here we go. We're, <laughs> I'm going to do a, a Murphy yeah. bed and it's going to be sweet and you know, convert into a dad and all this stuff. And they were like, no, they're like, we'll pass. They're like, no. can you do that? Can you make <laughs> this? I love Home Depot, but you know, it's like they have, a, they, like they have a pride, they have a vision for the engagement and, and, and basically that wasn't, that was, that was, that project was quite a bit higher than what they were thinking. They're like, can you make that look simpler? And I'm like, eh, no, not really. You can't really make that look simple. That's like, <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of woodworking. Right. It's all like, oh, look, we're green again. 
Yay! Stream settings green. All right, yep. everything is back to normal. Well, I think you know who is getting content ready in the holidays by like having their holiday stuff up well, well ahead of the season. This is what I was going to tell you about the decorations, though. I... Katie said, this year for Christmas, what? marshmallows. <gasps> Katie, we're so excited. And she's, and she's going to overnight them so they don't get <laughs> you know, lost in paradise. I mean, where I, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Somewhere, I, I, I like to think about this, Katie. I like to think about where is that package right now today? I hope I mean, somebody probably, got I would, to enjoy them and they're not just like imagine it somewhere. Is in the landfill, you know, they oh. I don't know, like what do you think? Like did they like what happens to lost packages? I mean I doubt they open them. It could have you ever seen the movies where um I, I can't remember like what movie it was, but it was like somewhere like somebody like mailed a letter in like an office building and it got like stuck in you know, it was like a mail drop and but it was like a shoot that dropped down to the mail room and it got like stuck in like a seam in the metal thing and it was like this big thing about you know, it's probably like a love letter or something that never probably. got to the person, and then they found it. You know, thirty years later, like, what, like. I've never seen that movie, but yes, go ahead. It's probably several movies, and I'm just kind of putting them all right. together. But right. yeah, I think I think that was uh, um, Elf. You know, where they're, <laughs> they're down in the mailroom. <laughs> but uh, yeah, That's I wonder like what happens. The movie where to I'm like, usually falling asleep because there's like the a whole thing. Actually, scene. Scott knows exactly what happens. His son's the postmaster. Yeah. Scott, what happens to lost mail? I wonder uh, don't they, about that. Don't they like auction it off at some point? Like, really? Like packages? I mean, I mean not do like something mail. with it. Yeah, I like, guess. What do they do with lost mail? But let's get back to the marshmallows, okay. shall we? Sorry. Katie, just, we are going to really need. No, 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 no. I want to circle back to the mail. sugar that I'm excited about. Hey. So, my foot goes there. Just deal with it. So, uh, well, that's we I'm going to make you a footrest. Know... I'll make you a footrest. You should make me a footrest. Anyway, we are going to need to know, like, what is the best way to enjoy them? Should we put them in hot chocolate? Should we just eat them as no, is? No, aren't they, like, peppermint or something? I don't, that's what I'm asking. Like, peppermint, right. milk She'll chocolate, hot chocolate situation. Like, I don't know. I'm really excited about this, though. Yes. Pretty impressed. I know. Because I would have never, well, no, I did, I think I told you I tried to make marshmallows once with, like, a janky old mixer, and I killed my mixer. So, that was the one and only time I ever tried. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the You're island of misfit toys else. and the island of misfit packages. <laughs> I know. Oh. I wonder, like, if you leave marshmallows mm -hmm. alone, will they like turn into? I saw like an influencer person online man. showing like her holiday color scheme for the year, which to me makes me think that they're gonna go get all new stuff for holiday that fits the color scheme. No, thank and you. I was just like, I can't yeah. imagine. You like, know what? I, I feel like we have too much stuff as is. Like, you know, what I really like to build. What is that? I like to build a couch. Really? I'm not like an outdoors. You know, I've made a couple outdoors, so I don't want to build like. Tell me more. Build like a, like a a better couch. Like we so. <laughs> Any we, couch would be better than our we current this couch. couch. So we had these old couches. Oh jeez. Which my niece now has. Yes. And bless her heart, she's probably just completely destroyed you them. You know, she's, but like I 20. see them in her pictures. She's got dogs and. Right. A cat, like I think a she. Dog and a cat. We had them for so long. And they had seen a lot of life with three young kids. So it was great. She's enjoying them and they were free and it was perfect. But, but uh, they were pretty nice. They were pretty like stable. They, they were like, lazy you know, they, they were tough. They, they were, were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were tough. Yeah. And then like, and so yeah, they we didn't love them. They were like brown corduroy. And Which it is cool. Sounds way worse than it really them. is. They're actually pretty cool. <laughs> They're but, not that um, cool anymore. But no. they were cool when we bought them. Right. And so... Uh, we went to this like really trendy couch that's like a light gray yep. and it was like the only one that really, you know, we went to the store and we're like sitting in all the different ones. Oh, this one's too deep. You know, we're like the, the three bear or like Goldilocks. Oh, there was one like, that this was one's too deep. deep. This one's too wide. This one's too expensive. This one, you too know, narrow, looks like, like the Taj yeah. Mahal or whatever, like, you know, the ones that have like the big, like crazy, yeah, curvaceous. That was not for us. And so curvaceous. we're just looking like a <laughs> curvaceous couch. <laughs> okay, go ahead. That's a good, that's a good one. Curvaceous couch. But yeah. Um, but, and so, so we, we found the one. And so we found one, but it is like you sit on it and the whole thing goes, oh, like it. It's like, every, will, like our kids are like 80 pounds and they're like jumping on it. And it's like, they don't jump on it. Well, they do. Because sometimes. I tell them not to. But I'm like, like you're going to break the couch. Our poor kids are like, they must have a phobia about couches now because if they lean on the back of the couch, oh. we're like, don't lean on the couch because it, I, we are not going to say the name of the store that we bought them from because that would be, that would be rude. It would be giving but them too much credit. I will say it's a big chain. And um, real cheap, and rooms you get go. what you pay for. It rhymes with rooms to go. Oh, 
No. It's, but we, and it was. It was cheap. But, but, I wasn't going to say anything. So to the point, we, we, anyway. we specifically knew we were. Right. We knew they were temporary. We knew we knew we, they were temporary. Right. But here's the thing is that the guy that we bought them from, he was like, oh, yeah, I've had, I've had this exact thing. And he thing. was a I, big dude. I've had it for, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's fine. Liar. Whatever. You liar, liar. Pants couch. on fire. Exactly. I mean, there's no way. I call way. you out. Yeah. Uh, so, and so I would love to. So two things. One, I would love to like with this? bust oh, open that it, couch. It. Yeah, and maybe like, I don't know. Whole, has anybody like, ever modified a couch? It like, is so. We don't need to modify it. We just need to no, just, because it, So if you've ever looked, because I did with the old one. He did. You remember the old, the old one, the springs? Would busted? you like, please tell the people. So our couch, our old lazy boy couch, which That's honestly, right, it, did, it, it really did hold up for a very long time. It was that the back pillows were attached and they got all yeah. kind of misshapen and you couldn't do a whole lot about it. Um, but, and then, but, but we had a squeak. We had a squeak. We you would sit down squeak. and be like, <laughs> and it was really bad. It was, yeah. And yes. so what, what, what happened is that the, uh, and the, the, the seat of the couches was like, it was really not, it was like a, um, it was like a metal, I don't know what like you call frame? it, but it was like a, it was like, like, a, like a wire. It was like a wire, like but it was a like a bed frame kind of right. thing. Right. I like yeah. how we're both like, well, you know, you, you know, know, you know what we just, mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, was, like, but Brad, a, Brad being the guy that he is, he flipped the couch over. So the butt of the couch is in the air, opens up the little I covering like cut thing, it, cut it open, like and crocodile I, I, dundee. I, 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 you know, did. <laughs> We're going off the rails on this one. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> nobody cares about our couch. And secondly, I mean, we are giving them it's, every it's detail. Couch building. I mean, hopefully you can relate but, and you've and so had anyway, a couch. What, what had happened is, is there was a nice curve to this oh. metal structure, this metal warts? springy thing. And what happened is that uh, it, it separated from the wood. And so I actually like drilled pocket holes in it and like screwed it back in there. And it did stop the squeak, but then it came back because yeah. it, they stripped out. It was embarrassing. Anyway. Like people would come over and sit on our couch. And and it was like, uh, eh, eh. like <laughs> it's embarrassing. My point and is, that's when we knew it was time to let it go. I bet it's still. I think we, I think we could upgrade a couch. I think we could do it. I think oh, geez, like our current that. couch is just. And I think if I just like, I, I just like, grab sorry, like whoa, a two whoa. by four. Stop for just, a second. <laughs> oh yeah, ours has got to be. I would like to before we get rid of this couch. I do want to open it up and see how horribly it was oh, it's made. Got it. I mean, it's it's so probably know. like one inch. Like I mean, it's horrible. It one was inch horrible thick, from the three beginning. Three quarter inch plywood. It's probably just ridiculous. My question is. Yes. Go ahead. Do you want to keep and modify our current yeah, crappy like couch? I like the look of it. I mean, I do too. I picked it out, but like, or we could just we get, get a leather. nice couch. We've always wanted leather couches. All right. I fine. don't want a leather couch anymore. I just fine. want a nice couch. Fine, fine, fine. I want a okay. couch that's not going to quit on us. All right. Anyway, sorry. Everybody, sorry. Everybody, we, we've lost. That was like therapy for us. We just got it all out there. We've lost a lot of viewers. Since I am not so. surprised. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. That was a tangent uh, to end all tangents. Yes, yes. What, what, are, what are the people saying? Are they asking uh, let's questions? Let's see. Larry was talking about we had, a, we had a crew at the post office filming oh. and it showed a package that had fragile on it and the turkey that was looking after it through the package. Uh, through, through the, I'm not sure through the fragile package. Oh, through it. I think he's saying turkey like a oh, numbskull. Through well, the it, fragile but package. The way it was written was T H R O U G. Well, as you said it, so I that's what I was like. Through, it. like he was looking yeah, through yeah, the package. Yeah, yeah, Got yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's unfortunate. Uh, animation creation. My gosh, doesn't like Christmas. Doesn't like marshmallows. Doesn't like marshmallows. I'm sorry, this is too much. I mean, I could kind of understand. Uh, <laughs> I don't need too many marshmallows. They get very sweet, but I do like marshmallows. Yes, yes. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, Scott, uh, all lost mail is sent to the National Postal Recovery Center in cool. Atlanta, Georgia. Huh. If it is not claimed in 180 days, the letters are shredded and the parcels are open. Okay, so what happens? Whoa. They're opened and then what? And then what? And the merchandise is sold in pallet lots at auction similar to Amazon. He Amazon is returns. our hookup for all things U.S. Postal Service. Wow. I I'm sorry. Is this like, there's a place, maybe it's in Atlanta. It's south of here. We're in That's Nashville. Interesting. Where you can go and get the unclaimed packages. Uh, like they you also... can auction, like... Well, that's exactly what he just said. Right, but I, I guess that's but, Atlanta. I didn't uh, think it was so that far. I have a friend. Well, he's not a friend, but... <laughs> It was a guy I went to college he's with. He's not a friend. I mean, he's not a friend. Like, you know, I went to college with him. An acquaintance. We, we played basketball. He was an, an acquaintance. Acquaintance, acquaintance in yeah. college. He uh, co opt for Delta Airlines. Yeah. yeah. And they, you know, like, whenever they find, so two things, they were like lost luggage and or things left on the plane. Oh, gosh. I can only imagine. They do a similar thing. Like, they leave it for 60 days, 180 days, whatever it is. There's some time period. 
and then they auction it to the employees. Oh. So there's like, I mean, if you, New you phones, can only imagine baby. iPads, <laughs> yeah, like Bose, yeah. earphones, like, so it's like a ton of electronics and stuff. But yeah, you can. Wow. Yeah, that's that's the hookup if you work for Delta. an airline. Now, and, this was like a long time ago. This was but you would assume ago, that so. it would be similar Whatever. at this time. Uh, oh, that's funny. Oh, speaking of, how is Smokey in his new house? Oh, Francis? do you have? You, do you I have, have a picture. Uh, He's I great. I, I don't even feel. Smokey I'm is not living. Not take the chance of sharing anything. He's living his best life, honestly. He is. He. Why don't you tell him as I as so I. So he, uh, he he's living in his house with another dog. Who's six? There's, there's people there. As and well. better behaved than him. <laughs> uh, and they have a they have a big backyard that's fenced in, and they have a doggy door which is just like open at all times. We did not have a fence. We were talking about getting a fence and what we were going to do. Uh, but yeah, he is he is living his best life. I'm trying to find Susan, him. Susan, uh, oh, here he is. Uh, get, get the one where he looks like a goon. It's more funny. Um, <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> that one. So but You do this so that it looks better. Yeah. Okay. So this this is uh, Smokey today. He's so big, guys. He he's like he's almost 20. Me. He's probably more than 20 pounds Let's now. And he's shot. so much bigger. The one with Macy's, like it shows how big he is. Oh it's gosh. not that one. No, 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 not no, that one. Sorry, that one. There's sorry. a better one. There's a better one. All right, all right. It's my camera. I know where the pictures are. Okay. That one. Oh, okay. So this is this is him and our daughter. Mm-hmm. So he's he the is... one that always wants to go visit him. Yes. He's so cute. He's wild. He is like... He's just a puppy, you know, he's got a lot of energy and he, he's a wild man. He tries to wrestle with other dog and they have a good time and he seems excited to see us every time we go over to visit, which we probably go over about we've been going over about once a month ish. Yeah. And we don't we never bring it up. We like kinda let the kids lead the charge on that and our daughter is the one who's always like I want to see. She'll him. realize, like, oh, I haven't seen Smokey. Yeah, in a while. and the family is so wonderful, and they're so sweet, and they are very thoughtful, and like, they don't, they don't mind us visiting. We try not to stay too long, um, and just kind of see him. And he's really close by. He's like three minutes away. Yeah. So it's so amazing. It's wonderful. But yeah, he's he's doing great. He rolls in the dirt every chance he can get. Yes. <laughs> he gets completely muddy, and he's a puppy, but he's gonna be big. All right. And Bride can breathe now, so uh, that's yes, good. I, I can breathe, so that, that's good. Yep. Um, yes, Scott, thank, uh, you can thank your son for his postal inquiry thank assistance. Thank you. I mean, that uh, was that really was, interesting. That was great. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did. So if, if you guys don't know, you may have not even known, we had uh, a new dog for oh, right, three right. weeks. For like a hot minute. For a hot minute. He came on the live. There, if you can go back and look at a thumb, there was he a live a while live. back. There's yeah. a thumbnail with him on there. He's so uh, cute. Shortly after we got him. Like pretty much immediately. I couldn't breathe very well. I was having labored breathing and we thought it was allergies and stuff. And so anyway, we did a bunch of stuff. Turned out it just was not going to happen. Brad's not, not allergic work. to dogs because our son is allergic to dogs, which is why we right. got this dog, which is, is hypoallergenic. But you have asthma. Right. And it, so it was just like the dander or something. And yeah. I don't know what the deal was. Anyway, yeah. we had to rehome him. And yes. so he did a short stint with my parents for a week. And then that, you know, they couldn't handle him because he's well, a wild man. Yeah. And, um, and then he, now he's been with the new family. So we rehomed him someone in the neighborhood yeah. um, who's really awesome. It just felt like it was meant to be that yeah. they were, they, and yeah. It's 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 much better for yeah. everybody. So. Everyone's happy yeah, and everyone can good. visit him and he is, he's adorable. Yeah. He's gonna be big. That's right, yeah. yeah. So it's all good. In so, the meantime, we're yeah. just kind of cool. it, it was fun, it was fun to have a dog. I was, I was like thinking a good of experience. all the projects. I know. I was like, this is gonna be great well, we for content. We were so content. excited about it. I have a shop dog. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was, I was but, uh, thinking he was more of a business asset. No, he was a business asset than <laughs> a dog. But no, but but I, was, I was like, oh, this is going to be so fun. It's, we're going to be doing all this cool stuff. And but we learned a lot. I mean, we did not know that your asthma, you've never had that issue before. No, I'm not. And like, and it took, guys, it took a long time for it to like settle down. He was using, you were using I mean, your rescue inhaler. Like a couple of weeks ago. Like it used to be that he would use his rescue inhaler. It took about two months yeah. to it settle down. He used to use his rescue inhaler like once every three months or so, maybe ish. And when we had Smokey, and then even afterward, it was what? Like two to three times a day. Yeah. And like tightness yeah. in the chest and everything. And so yep, that's I think the kids, we all kind of know now, like, yeah, that's not the thing for us. So, because before they would be like, can we get a dog? And I feel yes. like now we've we've addressed it. We tried, you know. Gotcha. So. Oh, uh, 
Katie's saying marshmallows are great with uh, hot chocolate or s'mores. <gasps> Ooh, s'mores. Yeah. Can't beat that. We do love s'mores, Katie. You guys want a cat? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's got, we are we, all allergic yeah, to cats. We are. And we, we have an outdoor cat. We have that an outdoor cat us. that's not ours. Uh, he's that so sweet. He's a neighborhood cat, ours. but yeah. he spends like yeah, a lot of time. I don't know how much of his time he spends. Twenty hours a day at yeah. our house. <laughs> well, it depends on the day. Sleeping. Some days we don't see him at all, and then other days he's out there all day long. Yeah. But he's he's taking up permanent residence on our on yes. our couches. So. All of the things that Brad has built are covered in fur he now and we don't mind he's adorable yeah, he is and he's black so it's perfect for halloween oh halloween it's he looks awesome. like a decoration yeah. he's, always, he's out there so yeah all right see so what else we have we miss any questions back here oh it's got says build the couch we i know i, I feel like we should feel it like, would be a whole thing but i know i feel springs like, but i feel like yeah i guess that would be the hard part of building. we'd have to do a lot because of that's the problem with like a diy couch is that they're always just wood you know? Oh yeah. And then, no, like, I don't want that. You you invest, I guess, in the cushions, but it's not the same as just like, uh, like laying down on a couch that's yeah. got like springs to it. Yeah. But then again, like, but the springs always give out. I don't know if you like really. I mean, we had that couch for how long? How long? I don't know. I'm just saying in general. And I'm, I mean, I'm not... at least eleven years. I'm just saying, in general, springs are always going to go out on a couch like the cat we have couches upstairs that susan bought before we were married yeah i was like 22 or 23 it was the first big like purchase i ago. ever made yeah thanks 30 years ago no that was not 30 <laughs> years ago <laughs> sure uh, no, 20 years ago so, ish yes yeah uh and so uh, but they always go. We still we still have them upstairs, but, but like, like the middle ones are just like so. They're pretty good. But that that couch, those yeah. couches you just held sink on. Down. If you they're, sit in the middle, you just bore. They go held down the floor. on for so long. We got those. I got those from. It was me. It was not a we. It was a me from Sofa Express. Sofa Express. It's not even go. a thing anymore. You heard it here. But they Off held. At, they held up really well. But now they have just given up the ghost. They've like they're like we can't even take it anymore. Every time you sit on them, there's a new problem. Yeah. It's time for them to we leave need, the well, house. Give, we need good couch recommendations, guys. Yeah, Let us that's know because true. They're, they're horrible. Right. Uh, we're, we're probably right. in the Is market. Mark has barn cat. Dude, I want a barn cat. Isn't that it's like a feral shop cat? Cats. Oh, what now? He says he's had barn cats and then they've become shop oh, cats. Oh, see, I do. Like fun. If we ever have land and like would, outdoor space and a little barn, I would love to have, like, I've told you this many times, like dogs that are just outside dogs because then you wouldn't have to like breathe yes. in their air inside yeah and then like wild cat but this this cat he's not a wild cat he's not a wild cat he's cute. he's so he's really like kind of an enigma because he's an outdoor cat <laughs> wrapped in black fur <laughs> he's an outdoor cat but he's declawed so most of the times outdoor cats are gonna have claws right you think right like, oh, right man, this cat doesn't have claws he's like you know in the wild he's gonna be toast no this dude is a cold-blooded killer he kills stuff all the time. Tell them what he just killed. So, recent, so a while, like in, you know, just like the normal stuff, right? So you, you'll have, we'll get mice and, and moles and birds. So just leave them on the porch. And you know, yeah, you get. And half I'm sure he's one. leaving some at his house too. So we're only yes. getting a portion, a portion of the of goods. The goods. Yeah. yeah. But uh, a few weeks ago, there was like this baby squirrel he got a hold of, I guess. Baby squirrel. And you know, this is like a cute little thing, but it was like all just dead. Kind of not so cute. But he's stepping up his game. Uh, today we found. A full-size squirrel. I don't know how in the heck he is killing. Like, how do you catch a squirrel? I don't Squirrels know. are like he must get them while they're sleeping, because <laughs> he's something. like a dirty rat, man. He's I mean, like, the kids are like always looking for him anyway, and then they heard them yelling this morning. He killed a squirrel. <laughs> I was like, oh, geez. squirrels are so. They're so fast. They're so fast. They're like they're nimble. But this is the second one he's killed. In yeah. Like that we know about. I mean, there could have been more. Oh man, he, yeah, he but, is. But yeah, a, I don't mess with him. <laughs> He's cute, and then I, I keep on his you'll, you'll pet him, and he'll just like bite your hand. Just, but not even like just, just a little bit. Like, a, just like ah, I'm here. Just takes I'm like, little, okay, I'm not a squirrel. Nugget, you so. can't, you can't take my hand off. Yeah, I don't mess with cats. Man. I know he's cute. Uh, a favorite. Oh, Brian was talking about the the favorite Halloween candy conversation. Oh man, did we do this last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. Um, what is yours? Oh, do I remember? Uh, do animation? Well, I see. You're in the U.S., so are you in the U.K.? So you, we probably can't get the same. The same he brand. He was, I was, he was talking it. about his his mom's got a recliner, and uh, after 15 years old, it's like. What like is the brand? Well, he's in the UK. So. But what is it? I want to know anyway. Ooh, uh, Teresa says couches, Mitchell Gold or Hancock and Moore. Oh, okay. Good I haven't heard of either of those. I don't know. 
I mean, we've been buying crap couches. So that's probably why we've never heard of them. Just thank you. Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> anyway, move on. You brush your teeth. <laughs> hey, it's because I had beer. Uh, um, the, uh, yeah, Halloween candy. So my favorite's always um, candy corn or the candy pumpkins. Corn? I mean, I, yeah. People are love to hate candy corn. Are love to hate candy corn? People love to I, hate I candy feel like, corn. I feel like candy corn and pumpkins, Ooh, like, you know. The, I haven't bought any this year, honey. Basically a candy corn pumpkin, except it tastes a little bit different. They're like, but I feel like those are like PBR. Yes. It's like old school. Like, well, and but here's, wasn't you know, here, there the here's whole the thing trick. with, okay. Ooh, you're going to say it. Don't say it. Let me say it. I'm not saying it. Here's the trick, okay? If you ever, yes. if you don't like candy corn, then all right, you're weird. Brad doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> try this. And see if it'll change your mind. Try this. Take a handful. I mean, you know, you can get less, but equal like parts. Three. Candy corn, peanuts. Yum. If you Yum. like, <laughs> if well, you no. like paydays, I mean, that's basically what it is. Right. It's like you're eating a payday bar. If you don't like, like paydays, you're still not going to yeah. like this. But and it if, is pretty much if like you a really, payday. If you want to take it to the next level. Oh, there's another level. Honey roasted peanuts. Oh man! Because then you, you it know, just add a little bit more sugar to. Do the you know mix. how long it's been it's since been we've like bought peanuts and minute. just had them? We used to have honey roasted, but our daughter is like severely allergic. So this whole thing, like, we don't do this anymore. But um, yeah, what's your favorite Halloween candy? You, so candy corn is what you're going with. If we're rating the kids, baskets oh, or not that's baskets, a, that's bags. A good question. Like, that's what a good would one. you eat? I know what you would eat. Also. We're doing a what, service in this case because and, our daughter cannot eat them, but he would eat Reese cups. Yeah, not Reese cups. The Reese the pumpkin shaped ones. Because I like the regular. That ratio of peanut butter to chocolate is is much much better. What do you mean, like? The cups are too much chocolate, oh, not I enough love peanut it. butter. I love it. The pumpkins are like ninety percent plus peanut butter and ten percent chocolate. When I eat a Reese cup, Reese cups more like 60, 40. I like the chocolate rim chocolate. and I try to keep that preserved and eat that last. I know because, you know, because I like you it. You like chocolate. I do. I'm not a I like chocolate. chocolate. Um, I don't know what I would steal. Flex steel. Ooh, flex steel couches. I think we've heard of those. I don't think I have. Flex steel. I think that's Sounds actually, very I think, uh, who uses, I think somebody uses, uh, what is the one with the B, the couch people? No, it's like a brawn, brawn, brawn. brawny. Those are napkins. Those know. are paper towels. <laughs> I don't think they make couches. The only they might. Oh, it's like beauty a, rest? No, it's I, like a I mattress. I was thinking. Uh, uh, <laughs> now I was thinking Harry Potter. Uh, what was the one? Somebody in blots. It's like oh, Bernie and Bernie and blots. <laughs> Bernie blots, yeah, something like that. Every flavor beauty. Bernie blots. Oh yeah, Bernie blots. Oh, <laughs> Wow. I no, I don't know. We've gone. We've gone completely off. We have. We're, we're off the rails. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, did we hear Mike Leach's comments about candy corn? No, I did not. Who's Mike Leach? Uh, he used to be the coach. He's been. A, he's, he's crazy, dude. He's a head coach. I don't know who he coaches for now, but he used to coach for Texas Tech. Hmm. I think maybe Washington. I wonder what he's At said. one point. Um, probably something insane. But, oh, freeze the Reese's Cup. Hmm. See, again, we have to be very careful with Reese cups in our house, but it's not like she doesn't get them. That is one of the few perks to having oh, a kid with a peanut think, allergy so, is that you get to eat all the things go, they can't eat. I'm a big fan of the, of the, the sweet tart style. Like yep. Sweet tarts, spree. Bottle caps. Smarties, bottle cap. Yeah, like there's the pure sugar. Just give me the pure sugar. Just give him the sugar. Yeah. What about a Laffy Taffy? That is pure sugar. Uh, but it's, it's too chewy. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like Airhead. Remember we had the Airhead, the Airhead candies? And you were like, that was what is this? Way and I was like, too much. Then, but it was so funny. I was like, think about it being an Airhead. And you're like, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a lot. It was yeah. an intense level of sugar. It was. It but, was. yeah. You want a hand-tied hardwood couch. You'll never go back. I, what? I, Write this down. Huh? I know. Hand-tied. Like, I'm hand, searching like, it up. That's the construction type. But I what Teresa was here. saying was, uh, yeah, go, go write this down, write this down. Oh, Mitchell. Hardwood what? Mitchell Gold or Hancock and Moore. Hang on, hardwood. Couch. 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 Katie, Katie says unsub. <laughs> unsub. Uh, About oh, what now? 
Uh, about, I don't know. Just about, that's what we should have for a couch. Okay. And then, sorry, Hancock? Uh, animation creation. What, what do you like animation creations? I mean, cake is cake is good. What oh, do you I like? Would, is that I, yeah, I would, uh, I would down some pixie steaks, Brian. Uh, yeah. For sure. I'll, okay, so or, in ooh, England, what, what is, the, is, is, is Halloween this big of a deal in England? That's what I'd like to know. Fun dip. Fun dip is always good. It's nostalgic. Go and then eating the stick, oh, it's the best. Ooh, Kit Kats animation swan. creations. Like, I believe you guys celebrate Halloween. All Hallows but, like, Eve. Is, maybe they're fancy and they call it All Hallows Eve. Of course they're I don't. It's like Britain. <laughs> we're going fancy. to celebrate All Hallows Eve. That was interesting. So, um, <laughs> sorry. Not but, like, offend. is it a big, big deal? <laughs> Like, do you guys decorate your it's houses right and decorate your porches? I'm sorry. What and... is this? James is talking about Canadian Smarties. Is there a difference? Is there a... What? What's a Canadian Smartie? Oh, I feel like that's like a... It's just more expensive. Like a euphemism. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian Smartie. Like, I feel like they'd be, they'd be more polite. I feel like Canadians... They'd be like, like, thank you for eating me. <laughs> <laughs> Smartie, eh? <laughs> we have all the stereotypes here, people. <laughs> Hancock and more. Oh, I've got it here. Okay. I'm looking fun. at Canadian Smarties. I'm getting a whole wait, is that edu the... education. Pi oh, wait, what? Canadian Smarties. Mm. Uh, Larry's saying the same thing. He says, what? you got it. What? I don't, Canadian, Canadian Smarties. Ooh, no, that doesn't even look what? like a Smartie. Get out of here. That looks like a what Skittle or something. It's like a... Uh, it's kind of loud. Oh, it's, it's taking side. us to Amazon. So what apparently, are, oh, is that this looks a Canadian like they Smartie? Look like, um, they look like sprees. Apparently, that's a Canadian Smartie. They look like sprees. Smarties. Nestle Smarties. Nestle Smarties. It is funny how like they have but what's, different... But what's inside? That does look I like a spree. I think it looks like a wait, spree. Wait, wait. Make them last, it says. Do we get like a description? I'm sure you probably don't get a description. So it's a completely different thing. Man, I bet Canadians come to the States, they're like, I could really go for a Smartie. And then they get Smarties and they're like, uh, this is it. Uh, Although I do like Smarties. Uh, all right. It was fresh. Who knew? <laughs> Dude, we got to order some of these. I know. I can all do right. that. I'm Canadian on Amazon Smarties. right now. I mean. That sounds fantastic. Oh, and it's French. Or it's not French. It's um, Canadians. They have their information on here in French and English. Plus it's messy, I, like I guess. That. Anyway, I had no idea. Chocolate with candy coating, not oh, sugar. It's ah, so chocolate. it is. So it's, it's really more like. Oh, look, here's a picture where there's one that's like been bitten into. I mean, that, that's like an M&M. &M. Yeah, How they're just like a flat M&M. &M. &M. But the candy coating, that's right, a flat M&M. &M. I'm out now. <laughs> it's not what Brad signed up for. <laughs> Vegan Smarties, uh, what? Yes, if you guys want to send beer or sweets, just DM me. We will give you the address, the PO send box. Send us whatever, we'll eat we'll it. We'll eat them on the show. We'll eat it, we'll drink, we'll drink it on it. the show. Whatever it is. Don't listen to Scott's Don't son. send us something disgusting. You can absolutely send beer via USPS. White Smarties. What? <gasps> All right, you just got to stop now. Okay. No, All there's right, well, also we gonna... Smarties Australia. It's time to sign off. It's time to sign off. It's the same Put thing. Put it down. Sorry. Same thing. Okay. All right, cool. Sorry. All right, guys. So We're done. Uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, like Halloween candy because that was the last half of the show. <laughs> and couches. <laughs> and couches. <laughs> Such uh, a great yeah. combination. So, you know, if you guys actually want to talk about woodworking next time, just bring your questions. Bring us your questions. All right, guys. Have a, <laughs> <laughs> have a great week this week, and we will catch you guys next Sunday. Get out there and build something awesome. See you guys. Bye.